Good morning, upboptionmillionaires.com. Tuesday, April 22nd, 2014. This is the S&P 500 ETF, the Spiders. And you can see we're in this consolidating channel here. Recently broke below it, the, uh, the middle of April here. We dropped below it to 182.50, kind of found our footing and have vaulted back up to this 187 level, which has acted as support and resistance in the past. Let me just extend that a little bit. So you can see it. We break above this. We're going to put the new all-time high levels we hit at the start of April into play. Uh, if we can't hold this level, we break down tomorrow. So to me, tomorrow is really a deciding a deciding day. Uh, we're going to break down much like we did back at the end of March or the start of March. We're going to come back down to this 184 level. The key is, and if you look from a long-term perspective, I've been talking about this while the chart videos I've done, um, are we going to see possible head and shoulders pattern. If we fail at this 184 level, we're going to come down to this trend line, which is the Abenomics low trend line, and then we're going to come down to 172. This would be our right, left shoulder, a beautiful head. This is a beautiful head, especially if we bounce off this 172 level, come back up, make a shoulder at this 184, be a right shoulder, and we come back down, and then we're going to plunge. We're going to be down at about the 165 level, and then the 163 level, and then ultimately about the 158 level in SPY if this pattern comes to fruition. But, but, look from the long-term perspective. Every dip along the way since the lows in March 6, 2009 has been a great buying opportunity. Oh, head and shoulders, no. Oh, beautiful top, no. So along the way, it's been a beautiful trend. Even if we come back to this pink Abenomics low trend line, that is... Uh, could still be significant support that would vault us to new record levels for the S&P 500. So if you look from a, a shorter term perspective as well, we've been beaten down here. We're still not completely over overbought. And uh, a break above this level here at the 187 is going to send us to new all-time highs. Pretty crazy. I talked about it, though. And I talked about the recent selling, especially heading into the tax deadline. People just raising capital to pay their taxes. And we came right, right to... The, the tax day is when we started to recover. So I was like, all right, we're gonna let me raise some capital to pay my taxes. Okay, bye, bye, bye. And and here we go again. So you look it up via blog at optionlinearers.com. One of the articles I posted. Um, let's look at some earnings reports. And I have some earnings trades I'm really looking to get into. Uh, I'll post those at the blog at optionlinearers.com tomorrow. But I want to just bring up some charts that you know. Looking into earnings that really look strong for a breakout to the upside, Caterpillar's one. Caterpillar reports earnings uh, on Thursday before the bell. And you can see this kind of spike up to the upside, this flagging pattern. Uh, I don't know what this is doing here. Just get that out of here. Sometimes that happens. But looks like we're going to see a nice big move to the upside. So I love Caterpillar here. And you look from a long-term perspective, the fact that we've broken out here. Uh, from this wedge, see this beautiful buy. <laughs> Once we broke out, that was it. I mean, the stock was mired in a consolidation phase here for almost an entire year, from the you know the first quarter of 2013 all the way to the end of 2014. Finally broke out of it, and look at the move we've had up. To me, it looks like we're going to hit the 110. I think the high, the all-time high is 118, something like that. Oh, 109, 101, uh, 116. Okay, so uh, anyway, we're getting pretty close there. Now. I'm looking for a move to about 120. We are starting to get a little overbought on the short-term uh, relative strength index, but we'll see. Earnings reports uh, can really launch the stock to the upside. So I'm looking for Caterpillar this week. Uh, we have FCX reporting earnings Thursday before the bell. FCX still well-contained. We have this head and shoulders pattern that kind of failed, but still looks very bearish to me the last time it hit it, this trend line pulled back significantly so i'm looking for another move down possibly breaking the 30 dollars level um, we have amazon reporting earnings amazon looks just poised for a move off support here which is the support line here from the uh the trend line starting in, in the, the early stages of 2012 looks like a, a launch pad for a move back up to this channel and uh, I think that's going to happen post earnings. That's going to be Amazon after the bell, as well as Baidu. Baidu looks really bullish here. Uh, the stock bounced perfectly off support. Looks for a move up to the 170, 175 level. That is Baidu. That's after the bell 
on Thursday, Las Vegas Sands. These casino stocks, I called the top perfectly. This looks rather bearish, but I think uh, we're gonna make the move up to make the head and shoulders pattern here before we move back down to 60. So I would like this move up. I, I wanna see Las Vegas Sands, if you look from a short-term perspective, let's see, gonna zoom in there. We have a left shoulder, head, right shoulder is gonna be formed up to this 8250 level, and then a plunge down to 60. Um, Wind Resort, same kind of chart pattern here. We've got support. I mean, just look at the bleed off the highs there. <laughs> pretty amazing, right? This is a, a weekly chart. And uh, I pretty much was spot on calling the top for Wind Resorts. You go to stock, which is the blog at optionmillionaires.com. We've kind of been bleeding, but the bleeding has been slowing. So I'd look for a pop here up again to the 220 level. Could happen this week. And I think the Las Vegas for Sands report after the bell on Thursday could be the impetus for that. Uh, we have reports from Microsoft, which has looked rather bullish off support here. And this is just a stock I think it's going to hit new five-year highs. After earnings, it's at 40, almost 40 bucks. I'd look for a move to 42, $43 for Microsoft by the end of this week. We have Pandora reporting earnings, which is broken briefly below support, but now just looks right for a move up to the about $35 level. And then we have Starbucks. Again, below support. Uh, it's gonna be a difficult call here. You would think it's gonna head back to support here at the $55 level. So we'll leave that one alone. We have Visa, which is broken below support. Come back up to this line. I don't know, looks kind of weak here. Kind of weak. We have Whirlpool reporting earnings Friday before the bell. This chart looks very bullish. Um, so just something to keep in mind, a couple of earnings trades. And then of course, Wednesday after the bell, we have Facebook. Facebook bouncing off support here, brought this up at the blog, the support line. I also brought this head and shoulders pattern short term, calling for weakness when it hit its all time highs and uh, it worked out pretty well. We also have earnings from Apple this week. This is going to be after the bell on Wednesday. And you can see this wedge, beautiful wedge, I think Apple's going to shoot up to 600 bucks. This is going to be that Google type move where we're going to see a, a 10 to 15% move to the upside. Everyone's talking about Tim Cook. Oh, there's no innovation. It's Apple. And I think we're going to see a sharp move to the upside post earnings. Uh, we have Tupperware reporting earnings as well. I'm going to go through some of these names as, as the week goes on. I'll also put my trade ideas up at private Twitter in the chat room at optionmillionaires.com. Also at the blog. But you look at Tupperware, look at this since the start of 2014, it's been like an autopilot. So those are some charts that we got going on this week. We have Netflix up after the bell. Last week, Netflix got to 340 calls late in the session. Uh, on, on Thursday, we had a sharp move to the upside. And you just look at the action we had this morning. We were down early and uh, pulled back to actually close and almost up 1%. We're up at the 370 something level here after hours yesterday. Uh, I, I expect the stock to move back over 400 bucks with reckless abandon. So it might be a good time if we get a little uh, premium crush tomorrow after uh, when the, the market opens to get some Netflix calls. You PP here, optionmillionaires.com. It's April 22nd, it's a Tuesday. And I think stocks are gonna continue to defy the bears. Everyone was calling about a uh, calling for a market crash. As long as we hold over the the current support levels and we can break through the SPY 187 level, we're going to see new all time highs before May. Pretty crazy. All right, UPB. Everyone have a, a great trading session. See you in the chat room. Goodbye.